right there but might as well jump <laughs> good boy good boy Do those pine needles feel good ready let's go come on pump that smell good <gasps> you gotta leave <laughs> Wipe your paws, honey. Wipe those paws. Gotta get all clean. Good boy. Can you take any shot? Sit. Good boy. Stay. Okay, wipe your paws. It's so muddy out there. It was muddy and foggy. Leave it. Leave it. Yes, good boy. <laughs> that was so good, honey. <gasps> <Woo -hoo! laughs> Which one are you going to go to first? The tennis ball? favorite toy that isn't really a toy. <laughs> and happy day because we are spending the whole entire day with this little man we're gonna do a day in the life of my puppy Palmer and we are already on the move today it is only 8 30 and we're about to head to the vet because he has a vet appointment at 9 which is always really exciting because we get to learn more about him and see how much he weighs and see what his teeth are I've looked at his teeth but I'm excited to see if he's lost any because from what I can tell, I don't, I see a couple that he's lost, but I haven't seen any tangible ones like around the house. So who knows? Also, he has hiccups right now and it's very cute. But we started our day with a little sunrise walk, which we love doing. Like as soon as I wake up, I'll do it before I make coffee or anything. And it's great for me and him. Today was super, super foggy and kind of wet outside though. So um, we didn't go too far just because it was kind of a little yucky, but it was still nice. And then when we got back home, I washed his paws. I don't do that every time, but since it was so muddy, I thought it'd be good because after we get home from the walk, we do some playtime and he just hops around the whole house. He just loves that. And so that was really fun. And then I feed him his breakfast, which he eats his breakfast in his crate and I pile his bowl with tons of toys so that it's more of a challenge for him to get his breakfast and he doesn't eat his breakfast as fast because that's a really big thing with puppies is that if 
you give them their food they'll just like devour it so it can kind of give them little tummy troubles if they eat it too quickly so that's what I do and he's just having a good day so far and he's gonna have so much fun at the vet he loves going to the vet because he loves people whenever we pass people on our walk or whenever someone comes to visit he loses his mind with excitement so i think it'll be a fun day right bud all right we're at the vet and he's getting the rest of his shots today so it's a big day but it's exciting because once he has these shots he's able to kind of go wherever now because we've we've been taking him on walks and stuff but we haven't really been taking him to like really public places like the farmer's market where there's a ton of other dogs but I think this weekend is going to be his first time at the farmer's market so exciting stuff but I thought I would just share like a little bit about Palmer in case you're new here or you just stumbled upon this video but we are not totally sure what breed he is we think he's some kind of terrier mix we have no idea. When we first got him, I'll insert pictures of, oops, he keeps <laughs> pressing buttons. I'll insert pictures of what he looked like, but he kind of looks like a lab border collie mix or a lab, um, yeah, that's what a lot of people were saying, but now he's growing a lot of scruff like around his face and stuff, so we're thinking he's totally some kind of terrier mix. And last time when we came about um, three weeks ago, the vet said that she thinks he's gonna be, oh, there you go. She thinks he can see the other dogs in the car next door. <laughs> we can't go inside due to the pandemic, so we sit in our cars and then they come and get the dogs, but he's checking out the little puppies <laughs> in the car across the way. Um, but what, would, what was I saying? Oh yeah, she said that she thinks that he's gonna be on the smaller medium size. So last time we came, about three weeks ago, he was a little under 10 pounds so he has like 9.9 .9 pounds so basically 10 pounds and today I'm really interested to see how much he weighs here there you go how much he weighs because he looks the same to me but of course I've been with him every single day so that could be just because I live with him but I'm excited to see his weight we don't have a scale at home so we haven't been weighing him so it's really a mystery but he really is changing every day like in his appearance and with his little scruffiness and everything so it's it's a he's our little mystery man but I definitely want to do a DNA test one day I feel like that'd be really interesting and exciting I would pay good money to see like where he came from and where what the first couple months of his life was like because he was just found um, and turned into the shelter and that's pretty much all we know so it's kind of crazy but he's our sweet special little man and I wanted to say something else oh yeah today I just want to take you through like some fun activities we do and just some ways we keep him busy and get his energy out we've been working on getting more nap times through the day because this guy could just play all day but I know napping is important as well so we're gonna work on that today but I've just I really wanted to make sure I mentally and physically stimulate him so that he can just grow really well and smart he already has a lot of tricks down and he's such a smart little dude so I'm excited to show you those tricks and if you are thinking about getting a puppy or you're interested in it I definitely just encourage you to do as much research as possible because it is no small feat it's definitely a huge responsibility and you know there are really challenging days especially with a puppy because the teething and the growing pains and all that but it's of course a million times worth it because they just bring so much joy and love so just want to say that and I'm not an expert or anything I've done a lot of research and watched a ton of trainers YouTube videos and everything so I've gotten a lot of great tips that I'm excited to share but of course definitely do your own research and everything because you have to do what's right for you and your puppy so that said we'll just wait we'll just play in the car a little bit until the vet comes and gets him and then i'll check in with you guys later are you looking as cute as can be are you looking as cute as can be okay we are back from the vet let me give you the full report little man's just having some playtime right now he's gonna need a nap soon though because 
he's had an eventful morning already. It's been just go, go, go. I haven't even had breakfast yet. <laughs> That's what happens when you care for other animals, babies, people. You kind of forget about yourself sometimes. So I am hungry. My tummy's rumbling. I'm just gonna have like a protein bar. Easy, easy. It's already almost 10.30, so it's kind of, I'll be eating lunch soon. But let me give you the full report of what the vet said. So she said everything looks good and healthy, and he's about six weeks. He's 12.8 pounds, so almost 13 pounds. Come here, can I get you a Come on, come on, come on. Go get it, go get it, go get Woody. It's like, no mom, I just want your attention. I just wanna play with you. So she thinks he may get up to 24 pounds, but again, who knows? His legs are looking kind of long, so I don't know, we'll see. Every day you kind of get closer to figuring him out. Um, and he has all his vaccines, so he's not due for another appointment until a year from now, which is so crazy, because when you first get a puppy, you're used to taking them like every few weeks. Come here, baby. Come on, get a toy. Come on. So that's exciting that he has all his vaccines and we can take him places. And what else? Oh, something crazy. He still has all of his puppy teeth. So earlier today I was looking in his mouth and I was like, there seems like there's some gaps. I mean, I don't know what the puppy, how many puppy teeth there are exactly. So I was kind of clueless, but yeah, she said he still has all of his puppy teeth. So he's still very much teething, but hopefully he'll lose those soon and grow his big teeth because it's pretty common for puppies, as long as, they're te as long as they have their baby teeth, to continue teething. So, of course, we're trying to stop that as much as possible and redirect. Whenever he starts kind of nipping at us, we redirect it with a toy. But, of course, it's kind of like how it is until those baby teeth um, fall out. So, yeah, crazy stuff. But it's a pretty day now. The sunshine came to join us, so I definitely want to take him on a nice walk later but for now i'm just gonna give him a little snack and then he's gonna spend some time in his crate because his crate recently is the only place where he'll take a nap and he really needs to take a nap so that he can get some rest before our next adventure and the crate really has just been such an oasis for him and that's why we always like to feed him in his crate and give him snacks in his crate because that just affirms that it's a positive happy place for him it's like his own room his own spot and we just keep it in the living room for now so that we can kind of keep an eye on him because we just spend the most time in here but i'm really excited we're actually going to turn this under the stairs room into his room one day we'll probably take the door off and um maybe make it some kind of dutch door situation or make a doggy door or just take it off completely but we have plenty of room in here to kind of fit his crate and toys and bed and we want to make it super cute and fun doesn't that sound good do you like this area and then we can just kind of keep it open and he can play in here. So I think that will be a really fun project. There's his Easter basket. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's exciting. But yeah, I'm going to get a carrot. And what we do as like a little game when we put him in his crate, I'll take the carrot and I'll kind of put it under the blanket a little bit. So I'll kind of stuff it under here. That way he can use his nose and his senses to find the carrot and then he enjoys it very much i used to just give him a carrot and he'll he'll just eat it on the rug in the kitchen but now he will eat it so quickly that it just lasts about 10 seconds so it's good to kind of give it to him in his crate another really fun snack idea is popcorn you're gonna want to just have plain popcorn with no salt or butter and i just popped this popcorn on the stovetop so i love to give this to him and we've just been having fun introducing new foods to him and i feel like this is a great way to kind of make sure he's not too picky and just make sure his stomach kind of is getting introduced to different flavors and tastes so that it's not too sensitive so it is just fun it's just like a fun adventure and a new sensation for him uh -uh, you gotta be patient down stay leave it leave it leave it <laughs> i like to balance it on a spot leave it ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so gentle trying to be sneaky leave it yes 
Good boy. Good boy, honey. Favorite. Get you a big carrot. Look at that. You excited? You excited? Ah, uh -uh, no jumping. Sit. Stay. I'm gonna break it up so you gotta find all the pieces. Okay. And put it under your blanket. Stay. Kissy. <laughs> the first few weeks we had him, he would just fall asleep kind of anywhere because he was just such a little baby and so sleepy. So after he was done playing, he would just kind of sit in my lap and take a nap, which was just so heavenly, and just um, sit right next to me and take a nap. But now, whenever he is just out and about, he just is nonstop playing and he has so much adrenaline now that he will just not settle down. So the crate is such a great tool and that's his cozy and safe little oasis. And we did a lot of research about crate training and this is from the Humane Society. But some benefits of crate training is that it takes advantage of your dog's natural instincts to seek out a comfortable, quiet, and safe place when the environment around them becomes too loud or overwhelming because one thing, our house isn't overwhelming, but Brandon and I are pretty much always home, like at least one of us. He's actually at work all day today, so I'm gonna be home all day with him. But we use the crate as a way to kind of give him alone time because we don't want him to be too reliant on us and you know develop separation anxiety and stuff like that. So this is his little room, his little area where he can just have some independent time, get some rest and just feel really safe and have some quiet time as well. So that's why we have the blanket over it as well so that he can kind of block out the light a bit and the sound and just kind of have some more relaxed time. And another great reason to use the crate is for house training because you, um, the one we have is a life stages crate, which we really like, and you can adjust the insert that's inside of it and it can grow along with the puppy. But basically when they're small like this, you want to start out with a smaller little area for them to rest in because that encourages them not to just pee and poo in that area because animals natural instinct is not to go to the bathroom where they sleep and where they relax because they want to keep it clean as well just like we do and so this is a great tool so whenever we open up the crate he knows he's about to go potty so as soon as we open it up he goes straight outside and he hasn't made a mess inside for quite a while now i don't even remember the last time so it's working really well and you just want to of course you don't want to just leave them in the crate all day by any means but it is a great tool to kind of give them their own space and area so it's worked really nicely for us and the goal one day is to just have him be able to never be in the crate just like roam around once he's trained and doesn't bite on things but for now it's really really helpful to make sure we can monitor and make sure he's always safe because whenever we go out we uh, keep him in his crate so that we know he's not, you know, getting into, getting into anything that could make him sick or jumping on anything that could fall over on him. And it just gives us some peace of mind. So it's really been working for us. So while he is taking his little nap, I'm going to get some work done, work on my computer, maybe get ready a bit more. <laughs> maybe I'll just stay casual today. Um, but I am going to get some stuff done and I'm also going to prepare his lunch so we feed him a half a cup of food three times a day. So in the morning he gets his puppy dry food and then at lunchtime it's a combination of like the dry food that we use for a little training session and then I also like to put some wet food with dry food mixed in inside a Kong and I put it in the freezer so I do it around 11 a.m. and then he'll have it around noon. Um, just so that it's kind of firmed up a bit and it's more of a challenge for him to get the food out of the Kong and this is just a great sensory and mentally stimulating activity for them because they use their nose and they kind of use their brain to figure out how to get this food out. So it hones in their natural instincts so I'm going to prep that now and then in the afternoon he also has snacks. I'll show you some other fun kind of human food snack ideas and I'll also share a list of 
um, human food that's okay for them to eat. So example, blueberries, pineapple, watermelon, carrots, celery, broccoli. There's some kind of just produce that is okay for them to eat and it actually can have some health benefits for them because it gives them additional vitamins and also it's kind of unique textures for them to experience. So I really enjoy doing that. But for now, let's prepare his little Kong. We also just started feeding Palmer the farmer's dog and he absolutely loves it. It's a fresh food diet, so it's like all quality, really good ingredients and he is obsessed and I'm just loving it too because I'm just happy to know he's getting the best quality food. video on national puppy day the timing could not be more perfect it's so funny i didn't even realize that but here we are very timely and very festive so palmer's still sleeping i check on him every few minutes my product my productivity level has gone down significantly since getting a puppy but you know it's just how it is it's just how it goes he is my priority right now <laughs> and it's just been you know the puppy stage it's very time consuming but as they get older and more independent of course you have a bit more freedom so it's all it all has its little stages but i'm just getting some work done like i said and i'll take him out soon to give him his kong but i really just want him to get some good sleep before we have some afternoon adventures <laughs> It is lunchtime and I'm going to make Palmer work for his lunch in a fun way. So I'm going to get his Kong out of the freezer and it doesn't get, I don't leave it in so it gets super, super frozen, but as they lick on it, it obviously melts a bit and he's able to get the whole thing emptied. So he really enjoys it. And the plan is I am going to do some recall practice and basically what that means is i'm going to practice calling his name and him running to me because our goal one day is to be able to walk him without a leash or like anytime he's off leash that he immediately comes to us even if there are other people and dogs around that's just like a really big goal of ours so we try to do this recall practice often so that he knows whenever he comes to mom or dad he is safe and he gets a reward so yeah, basically what I do, I'll show you guys, but I just take his Kong and I will tell him to sit and stay and then I'll kind of move to another uh, spot of the house and then I'll call his name and give him a lick of the Kong and then tell him to sit and stay, move, and then call him over and just repeat for a few times. So that's the plan. And then after that, we have another little game. So stay tuned. Are you comfy in there? You just want to nap a little bit more? I think you're gonna prefer this, little man. Okay, sit, stay. Good boy, I missed you. Kissy. Oh, that's so sweet. How did God make you so handsome? How did God make you the most handsome? Okay, Palmer, come. Good boy. Oh, you need to stretch. <laughs> come on. Good boy. Good boy, you're sleepy. Oh my goodness, is that yummy? Okay. Stay. Stay. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Good boy, baby. Stay. 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 Good boy. 
Okay, that was great practice and he still has a good amount of food in here, but we're gonna have another little game. So I'm actually gonna take this blanket that's off of his crate, but you could use an old towel or an, another old blanket and I am going to wrap the Kong in the blanket and I'm gonna let him try to find it. So it's a good way for him, again, to just use his nose and use his senses to find his food. Baby dog. That's just my baby dog. Oh, you just want to soak up the sun, roll in the grass. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Soaking up the sun. snack idea that we pretty much always have in the fridge is celery this isn't one of Palmer's favorite snacks he definitely is more of a carrot guy but he still likes it Palmer come here come get a treat Give me some bacon. Okay, I'm getting ready to take him on a longer walk now since it's such a beautiful day, but it is quite hot. So I'm gonna take his water bottle and this is one of the best inventions ever. It's from Amazon, but basically you put the water in this section. I'll, sh I'll demonstrate it for you guys once we go on the walk. But then you just press this button and it comes into this section. So it's like a little bowl and water bottle all in one. So it's super handy. And I don't always take water when we go on walks, but I just wanted to show you guys that fun tool. And it is quite toasty outside. So yeah, I just want to make sure he's hydrated and getting his water. And I want to also reiterate that he is getting extra activities today. That's the reality. <laughs> it's okay, Palm. <laughs> he was exploring and knocked down my blanket ladder. It's okay, Baba. Here. It's okay. Here you go. Okay. I don't think he's gonna walk over there anytime soon. He seems a little startled by that. But yeah, I'm gonna take him on a walk, get some fresh air and vitamin D. He's seriously loving the sunshine. He's just soaking it up, so we'll do that. Oh, and I was saying, he is getting extra activities today because I wanted to show you guys all of the fun activities. So if you feel a little overwhelmed by like all the things I'm doing with my dog, just 
don't be too hard on yourself. Your dog is gonna love you no matter what and whatever you can give to your dog, they will be thankful for. But I am giving him just extra love and extra attention today because I wanna show you guys all these fun ideas. So don't be too hard on yourself. I know it can be a lot and you have to do your work and other life things as well. So your dog is truly understanding and they'll just love every minute you can give to them. But like I mentioned, it is quite toasty out there. So I am going to pour myself a nice refreshing glass of ice cold juice. And I'm going to make Palmer a fun little snack. So for this snack, I'm going to do a mixture of crushed ice, which is great for teething. And I'm also going to cut up some frozen pineapple and just kind of mix it all in the bowl. And then we're going to sit on the back porch and enjoy our refreshing little treats. treats we keep his leash on for the most part when we're just hanging out on our back porch because we don't have a fence yet we have plans to get one but we just don't have it yet so just in case we like to keep his leash on another fabulous activity for your puppy to enjoy throughout the day is this little food puzzle and there's a ton of different versions of this but they're all really great and just a great way to again <laughs> stimulate their senses and help them to use their nose and just kind of give them an activity and when we first started giving this to Palmer my mom actually gave it to him as a gift it would take him a very long time to get all the food out, but now it takes him about a minute. It's just so crazy how how smart they are, you know? They really adapt to things really quickly. So sometimes I put a towel over this to make it a little trickier, but today I'm just gonna kind of do it as a little easier game because he's had a lot of stimulation today. Down. Stay. Good boy. It's under there somewhere. You gotta find it. Daddy's finally home. Finally. Yay. Another really fun snack and activity idea is this lick mat. You can put some peanut butter on it or I don't know what else if you guys have any other ideas but we've just been putting peanut butter and I kind of just spread it out and licking is actually really soothing for dogs so we like to do it before bed but really any time of the day it's a great activity. Clearly he really likes it because he's chewed off the corners. We have just been doing so many activities. <laughs> he is gonna sleep good tonight, but I'm going to brush his teeth, which he actually very much enjoys. We only brush his teeth maybe once a week. There isn't like a specific day or anything that we brush his teeth. It's just whenever I, I kind of think of it and you know, it sounds good to do. And this is the toothpaste we have. That's best. He, again, seems to like it. 
And this is the toothbrush we have. It's a little finger brush, which is great because it's just really easy to kind of navigate and handle in his mouth. And he still has all his baby teeth, so I guess I have a lot of teeth to clean still. I mean, he was just barking at his own shadow in the window. <laughs> Homer, it's you. Homer, it's you. <laughs> Come here, Jenny. It's okay. He's so on edge. <laughs> Okay, baby. Okay, let's brush your teeth. Ready? You know the gel. You know the gel. You know the gel. It's okay. Open that beautiful mouth. Open that beautiful mouth. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We like that. We like that. He's on his last pee break of the day with his dad. We had such an eventful and activity packed day. We are gonna sleep good tonight, right? <laughs> Our little family, but thank you guys so much for spending the day with us. I hope you guys got some fun ideas and some puppy love and give a hug to your puppies from us and from Palmer. Mm -mm. But we love you and cannot wait to see you super soon. Bye! Bye. <laughs>